There is another really weird ice scoop over here. Super cool. Okay, grab ice cream. Doesn't have to be perfect, and just push it in. And it's not if it's not full enough or too much, you can just scrape it on the side, and you can just push it multiple times till it's full. Boom. Then grab your plate, push it down, and let it out. Boom. And you have right here little ice cream. Uh, pretty awesome. Let's try this one more time, see if I can make it better. Ice cream melting a little bit, now it's a little bit easier. So you have a piece right here, put it down, let it go. That is so unique, I love that ice cream scoop. Super interesting. And another strange ice cream scoop. There's a button over here for some reason. Okay, it locks in and whenever you want to drop it, you push it. You push it and drops. So locks in, then you go up your ice cream and you push it and twist and get as much ice cream as you need until you're happy with that. Then push it up a little bit and then you press the button and pull it out. And boom, you have a little unique way of serving ice cream. This definitely way beautiful piece right here. And again, the ice cream doesn't have to be looking beautiful or anything. Just set it this way, then scoop it up. Perfect. And then uh, push the button inside there and release it very easily. A little bit sticky to it, but that's ice cream. Super nice, look at the two beautiful pieces. You can almost stack them as well. That's funny. Got it here, another bit drive. Um, so it comes with one of those and the case. So very good, all different types. And why I'm looking for a different one, first of all, it spins pretty good over here, but whenever you plug it in, you see, you can just push it, let's say like this, push it and turn. This is actually very, very comfortable, look at that. A lot of them are not comfortable, this one is pretty comfortable. I can hold it and twist, no problem. So you have very unique everyday care screwdriver, you see how it spins? Or spin it the other way, so it makes it a little bit faster. Titanium cage, and that's all it's giving us. So yeah, another pretty interesting screwdriver. This thing are really popular. In my opinion, this is pretty comfortable for the big hands. Got that here, the most powerful um, arc lighter. Check this out, look how wide that is. So you just press it. Wow, it's glowing, it's so wide. Do you hear that spark? And it's just really, really thick. Uh, in the daytime, not so thick, it's brand new. But yeah, let's uh, turn off the light, see what it looks like. Oh, it looks like mirror polished. Okay, a little bit darker. Check this out. You see it's just glowing. Uh oh. Looks like it's uh, got overheated. Because right now, there's only a little spark. And just like that, that lighter have given up on me. Uh, that lighter seems like couldn't handle its own heat. Yeah, it happens. Uh, what they should have done is automatic shut off after so many seconds. It's burned, it didn't have that. Um, definitely still feels a little warm. I tried to let it cool off. It's still kind of working. It was on battery three and now it's completely dead. Yep. This is why we put them to the test. For this video, I got in here a couple UCO folding fire pits. Let's see what they're all about. 
first one is the mini. It is super easy, fold it and unfold it. Comes with a really cool pouch. So all it is, it just goes like this. And then this is gonna go in between of each other. Like that, boom. Super simple. And the grill is gonna go slide in into this part. Unfold it in here. And this side here is a little lifter. So whenever it's hot and you need to add on more sticks, you can lift it like that and then put it back onto it. There you go. Very cool. So once it cools off, super easy to fold it back up. And this one is pretty much same thing except much larger. So yeah. One is mini and I guess this one is regular. So let's pull this out. In the picture it looks one way, but in the video you could actually see uh, what it looks like and how much bigger that is. You see it? And again, same thing, you'll have to put the grill through into this layer, you see, slips. And that's much, much bigger fire pit. It's huge. Plenty of charcoal to put in, or you could use it wood, plenty of dual ventilation over here. This is nice. And obviously it will ventilate from the top as well. So whenever you want to lift the grill, if it's hot, just place it this way, lift it up, and then uh, kind of hard to put it back in. But once this like full it probably will stay more open this layer flaps but yeah you see, they kind of want to close a little bit because they've been folded in i think they're gonna stay a little bit more open once you have some firewood in here but anyways this is not a problem super cool Fold it. so it just folding it does not take apart all in one piece except the grill and comes with this beautiful durable pouch. Got it here, Kendall Lenta by UCO. Very nice packaging. Let's unbox it real quick. This is what she expects to get. Beautiful. Says right here, nine hour candle, uh, 60 lumens, and you got it here, 5000 BTUS heat. So it provides a little bit of heat. Um, so how do we take this out? So it looks like this pulls up and then you take this out and the candles are really cool. Looks like it has a spring on it. So once it burns out, it will push them up. So you just pull it out and this one I'm talking about. If the candle only half size and let's demonstrate, pretend it's burn off. I'm gonna just cut it off in half to see if the candle works or not. So as you can see, I cut off uh, quite a nice chunk of this candle. And let's see if this spring will keep it uh, together. This is so cool. I would stack up on the candles. Boom. As you can see, uh, it shows you how much candle have left. That is one of a kind for sure. 60 lumens seems like not a lot, but it's plenty in a complete darkness for camping. It will last you a lot and you don't have to worry about batteries. And it is also produces a little bit of a heat. And then you can carry it and hang it with this little holder. So this is what it's going to look like. Obviously, camera already overexposing. Boom. And also you can buy some refills, um, wax candles in this case. I like this.